Hey guys, today we're going to take a look in how to manage um, database migrations and versioning using, of course, Spring Boot and Flyway. Flyway is a very nice tool that allows us to, um, to manage and create those database migrations and keep your schema sync uh, in our environments and helping us to, to have total control on what we are placing in, in production or moving uh, to an environment, for example. Uh, I'll also be placing the Flyway DB link uh, under this video as well, so you can just take a look at, at the documentation. Uh, the idea, as I said, is pretty simple, just to have uh, a way of controlling and well-defined way to have different versions from our schema. So yeah, we can take a look at the, at the documentation later. So there is here uh, how it works. So as I said, in, in a nutshell, we can have uh, many SQL files that each, of, each one of them will be a different version. So we are going to evolve our schema according to our domain model. There is a schema version, which is a control table that Flyway uses to keep track on which version that database is playing at that point in time. And that's basically it. So I'm just going to dive into uh, the demo. So you can take a look at the website later. There are lots of nice things. Okay. So, here we have our sample application. It's the same application I have used for the mapping JPA. Uh, just renamed it. So, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty much a basic Spring Boot application with the needed dependencies and start the web, start the JPA, Lombok, MySQL, and tests, which I'm not going to be using today. I'm going just to remove. Okay, so here is our domain model. So I have a customer, I have a product, I have a phone number that has belongs to customers, I have an order, and also I have items for that order. So the traditional and quickest way of generating these, uh, these tables is for example to ask Hibernate to generate them. So I have here my connection settings. I can simply tell Hibernate to create uh, that structure for me, for example, uh, and let me create the database as well. Again, the database is called migrations. Database migrations. And use migrations, show tables. That's it. That's pretty much it. So let's run our Spring Boot application. And we will see that, yeah, that's it. Uh, all of those tables, they got created by Hibernate. Hibernate, Hibernate will read uh, the annotations metadata and create the tables for us. That's, that's pretty good when we, uh, we are doing a kind of spike or that's the first version or we are even working alone by ourselves, but um, once you get into a more serious project, so it's not uh, that convenient to work on that way. So as you can see, we have it here, all good, but it's not what we want. So let me drop this database, uh, create again, let me use it, and show tables, nothing again. That's good. Let me kill this session. 
and that's it. Yep. First step to uh, to have Flyway integrated is to use the Flyway plugin, which we can add as a Maven dependence. Um, let me take a look here. Yeah, that's it. Let me just drop here. Here goes the magic. And here is where the magic ends. That's it. That's the Flyway Spring Boot plugin. That's all we need about a library dependence. So Flyway also uh, relies on a directory structure. So to in order to be used with Spring Boot. So we need here a directory called DB and another directory called migration inside of it. So then we can start writing our scripts. So let me write a first script which uh, is going to be my initial schema. So it's going to be these initial five tables. I'm going to have version one. I'm going to create initial schema dot sql, and then I'm going to uh, throw here my SQL statements, which are basically my create table statements, as you can see. So create customers, customer phones, items, create orders, create phone numbers, products, customers phones, and add into constraints as well, items, items again, and orders. Okay, just plain uh, DDLs create and modify tables and another uh, change you have to make here that's we're not going to ask um, hibernate to create anymore we can say for example ask hibernate to validate our schema that's going to be generated by flyway and we can also specify a validation query Okay. Once Flyway uh, runs in the Spring Boot, Hibernate gets into the next step and runs the validation query to see if that database or that those tables they are valid anyway. And that's pretty much what we have to make on a configuration level. So let's just show tables. Nothing here. And that's it, let's run the application and see what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's it, everything seems to be fine. So let's see the logs. Yeah, you see that Flyway uh, got loaded and yeah, the database seems to be okay. The validation query ran and the metadata table yeah, was successfully created and also it has set the current migration version. Everything seem, seems to be fine from our log perspective. Let's take a look at the tables. Yeah, they are all there. So that's it. And we also have uh, the control table, which is the schema version. So this is where um, Flyway uh, places all the metadata it, it needs to keep track on the schema. So it's all the rank, version, description, type, script that ran, checksum of the script, and 
everything else it needs. So we just select from this table. You can see here it's not well printed because of my screen resolution, but we can see that we have a lot of information here. The script that we ran, the checksum, who ran the script, when, and that's it. So we we got our application with the initial schema. So that was the first step. Second step is to evolve that schema. Let's say I want to create a, a new field, I want to create a new table, or I want to change something. So let me create a new, um, a new migration because I forgot to to create a, a an index. So let me create a new index for the customer the customer's table. Yeah, that's basically it. So I can run the application again. All good, no problems. If we select again, so we see that we have the migration version 2 that it ju I just ran. Show, and if I ask show index from customers, yeah, we just have that, that index. Pretty nice. So our last step is gonna be to just to create a new a new table and that's it i want to have now in my system in an it's called account it's my orders application is going to have an account table that's basically a table for uh, this class and I have three fields for this class so that's basically what I need so I need this script to create uh, this table as well so let me add a version 3 Create account table, simple script where I'm going to create the accounts table. Create table accounts, just passing whatever fields I want to, but I only I only need these three fields, and also I'm going to create an index for the account number. That's all what we need to do. Let's run it again and see what's going to happen. Once again, all good from the logs. Everything seems to be fine. Let's see our tables. Beautiful. We have our table accounts. There is nothing there, and our schema version. Sorry, select from schema version. Yeah, I have version three in there. So I hope you liked my my new screencast about how to use and manage database migrations with Flyway. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye-bye.